Dear friends, in this tutorial, we are going to look into reading and writing CSV and Excel files in Pandas. And here is the list of items we are covering in this video. Okay, let's get started. Uh, what we are going to do first is start a Jupyter Notebook. I prefer Jupyter Notebook because it is uh, great with data visualization. You can use whatever IDE you prefer, PyCharm, Notepad++, it really doesn't matter. I have uh, started my notebook and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new notebook by selecting new and Python. First thing we are going to do is read a CSV file into a uh, pandas data frame. I have this CSV file which contains stock market data. I have tickers, earning per share, revenue price and the people associated with that company. CSV file is nothing but a comma separated value file. So if you open it in plain notepad plus plus, it looks something like this where you have values separated by comma. These files are a lot similar to Excel files. So whatever methods and properties we are going to cover, they pretty much apply to Excel files as well. Okay. So let's begin by importing pandas as PD as usual and then you will create a data frame by saying df equal to pd.readcsv and in the bracket you supply the name of the csv file which is stock underscore data dot csv okay and then you print your data frame when you do this uh, it will successfully read this csv file into a data frame so let me now keep this csv file open on the side so that you can see what's going on so i'm going to arrange my windows here so that you can see csv file as well as the notebook all right this looks good okay now <clears throat> here you will notice that it read the whole csv file into a data frame and it successfully imported the column names and all the rows okay now what can happen is sometimes you might have an extra header in your csv file so i'm just going to insert an extra header here and let's say you can have like one row or you can have a couple of extra rows and what you want to do is really start from read, uh, start reading from here okay so let me first just read this as is and see what happens so i let i didn't save it so let me save it and run it so when you do this what will happen is it will treat this particular line as a header now what you want to do is you want to really skip this row okay so the way you do that is by supplying skip rows argument so there is skip underscore rows and when you say one it's gonna skip one row from the top so when i run this uh, i'm getting an error so looks like let me see what is the exit met method name so if you google pandas read csv it's gonna list all the methods that you have so if you look at here uh and if you search for skip so here it says skip rows okay so i provided underscore which was wrong so now you can see that it skipped this first line and started reading from second line you can also do the same thing by saying header equal to one and it will produce the same output so it's saying that my header is located at row number one okay all right now we can have a reverse situation that so that instead of having this let's say extra header you don't have this header at all so let's say your csv file is something like this where you don't have header but you somehow know that this is sticker this is eps and so on so what you want to do in that case is you want to say header is equal to none 
okay so what it will do is it will automatically generate these columns names but these column names are not good it says zero one two three four which i don't like so the way you supply these column names is by providing names argument into your read csv method and you can provide the column names in sequence so your first column is ticker your second column is let's say eps your third column is uh, let me see what it was it is revenue revenue price and people okay so revenue price and people revenue price and people when you run this you will notice that it will create these columns so always use header equal to none and names equal to column names whenever you have a missing header in your csv file okay now let me revert back my csv file to its original state which is this and i'm going to remove this extra thing here okay now what can happen sometimes is your csv file is let's say pretty big and you want to read only few rows from it let's say you want to read only maybe three rows okay so the way you do that is by doing n rows equal to three so n rows means number of rows that you want to read into a data frame and when i say three it will exactly read three rows excluding your header okay so sometimes if you have millions of live lines in your uh, csv or excel files and you want to limit uh, how many lines you want to read then you you can use n rows argument okay uh, the next use, useful argument is na values so here uh, you can see that in my data frame there are couple of problems a uh, couple of cells i have as not available na etc okay so i want to read these things as not a number value so nan okay so that you can do by saying any values equal to not available and n dot a what this means is whenever you are reading csv file and if you encounter not available so not available and na turn that into na and value okay so if you do this you will notice that okay i i, I was missing dot so let me execute one so you'll notice that it replaced n dot a with n a and it, it also replaced not available as n a n and here also there was n a n so if you look at this file here this this and this these three cells are now, now replaced by n a n okay so this is useful in uh, cleaning up the uh, cleaning up the messy data that you get from your csv or excel file okay so we took care of not available and na values but there is one more problem with uh, this data frame if you notice it carefully i have revenue column and i have minus one as a revenue now any company's revenue cannot be negative it is either zero or greater than zero so this is clearly a problem and i want to convert this to nan now if i put minus one here then what's going to happen is it's going to convert this to nn but at the same time it is going to convert this guy also as nan now earning per share could be negative companies don't re report negative earning per share but in theory it could be negative so you don't want to convert this guy to nan so how do you do that if you put minus one directly here then you notice that this guy got converted to nn well in that case instead of supplying a list 
you can supply a dictionary so what you can do is you can supply a dictionary and you can say this you can say that in my earning per share column whenever you find uh, n dot a or not available convert that to an a n okay but in my revenue column you can convert both of these things to uh, let me copy paste okay you can convert both of these things to nan but in addition to that convert minus one also into nan because i know that revenue cannot be negative so negative value is always nan okay and same thing now with people you can say not available or on any both are and and when you run this you will notice that minus one still stayed as minus one and my revenue which was negative here got converted to nan so this is pretty powerful feature this na underscore values could be useful in cleaning up your messy data and this allows you to do data munging or data wrangling okay all right so that was about read csv now how about writing back to csv uh, so for writing back to csv what you can do is so i have already this data frame with me whenever i want to write this back to csv uh, the way I have read CSV file, there is a two CSV file. So I have two CSV file where I can say new dot CSV. So I am writing this particular data frame, which is this guy here, to a file called new dot CSV. And when I run this, it executed fine. So if I go to my directory, I will find this new one new dot csv file and when i open it okay let me minimize this file when i open it you can see that it wrote this csv file okay now the one observation i have with this file is it wrote this index also so by default it writes the index if you don't want to write this index then you can say index equal to false and when you run this okay permission denied because this csv file is open right now so let me close it do not save and when i run this again it worked this time so if i open new.csv now what happens is i now don't see that index being written to this file okay it has couple of other arguments also uh, sometimes you don't want to write let's say all the columns let's say i want to write only two columns tickers and eps and i want to skip exporting these three columns to my csv file and the way you would do that is by providing columns argument so first First, let me uh, just print the DF columns. So I have these many columns and what I want to do now out of these columns, I want to uh, write new.csv and export only two columns, which is stickers and EPS. So df.2csv, the name of the CSV file where you want to export and the column names. When you run this, looks like it worked. Open new.csv file and you will notice here that this file has now only two columns to it. Excellent. Okay. Now sometimes you want to skip exporting the header. So to do that you can provide header argument 
and say header equal to false so when you do this uh, let me close this guy here and run this looks like it worked again and if you look at this thing now here you don't see any header so it skipped writing header to my csv file okay that was all about to uh, writing to csv file now let's look at read excel okay so i'm going to clean up all these cells and i have an excel file here so let me just open the excel file it is basically same as the csv file that we had okay so i'll just put it here you can see the same stuff uh, i have this sheet one here and all the same columns so import pandas as pd and the way you read excel file is by doing pd dot read excel and the name of the excel file is talk data dot excel as x now i have my file in the same folder as my jupyter notebook if you have it in a different folder then you need to provide the complete path okay all right the next argument is the sheet name here it is sheet one so sheet one here okay and print df when you do this you can see that it created data frame successfully okay now sometimes uh you want to do conversion of your cell content from excel okay so here you can see that i have na in walmart's people uh, column now i know that walmart's key person was sam walton so if you want to convert this na into sam walton then you can use converter so the way you use your converter is basically this so what you do is uh, you will define a function so let me first define a function so you will say convert people okay convert people cell and this is your cell content and you will say if cell is equal to n dot a okay then what you want to do is return sam walton otherwise return cell whatever you got okay and then here in read excel file you can supply converters argument which is which takes a uh, converters argument will basically take uh, python dictionary okay and in python dictionary you can supply the name of the column so for people column i want to use this particular function so whenever it is reading people column it's gonna call this function for every single cell for every single cell that you're reading in this column is gonna call this function and do this conversion okay so let's read this so when you read this uh, what happened is you can see that instead of walmart's key person to be an a now it replaced it with sam walton okay now this is not a very good example because uh, because um, i'm always converting na to sam walton i should be looking at the ticker but this is just to give you a demonstration on how converters exactly work okay you can also do the same thing with uh with other columns let's say if you have some kind of logic to convert eps cell then you can do the same thing you can write a converter routine for your earning per shell earning per share uh, column and you can say okay whenever you find not available you want to return none okay and return cell back and when you run this you will see you got an okay 
So this is how you use converters to uh, convert your messy data into something meaningful that can be post-processed later on easily. Okay, last thing we are going to cover is uh, writing Excel file. Okay, so now I have my data frame here and if I want to write it back to an Excel file, I can do something like pd dot to Excel, okay, to Excel, and the to Excel function takes the name of the uh, file as an input. So my name of the Excel file is xlsx new dot xlsx and you need to supply the sheet name where you want to write to so you can say stocks okay and this should be data frame when you run this looks like it wrote to this file successfully so if you open the directory aha you find this new dot xlsx file and when you open it you will see that uh, it wrote this file successfully now again, same stuff, if you don't want to write your index, you can supply index to be false. Also, let's say in this Excel file, you want to start writing at certain offset. Let's say you want to start writing at, okay, so start row. There is, a, there is an argument called start row. You want to start writing at row number one and column number, let's say two, okay? So let me close this, don't save, run this again. And when you do this, your new dot Excel file has, is now return from column number two. So zero, one, two. So it started from column number two and row number two. Uh, so zero and one, row number one, okay? So this is how you can write at certain offset uh, or location in your Excel file. Also same stuff, uh, if you don't want to write uh, this index column to Excel, then you can always skip it by saying index equal to false. Okay, let me close this and run this again. And if I open new Excel file, you will notice that I don't have that index column being written to my Excel file, okay? Now, if you have, let's say, two data frames and you want to write these two data frames to same Excel files in different sheets, how do you do that? Well, uh, there is a class called Excel Writer which you can use. So let me first create two data frames. So I'm going to erase all these cells and create two data frames so these two data frames are stocks and weather okay so I have these two separate data frames which I created successfully and what I want to do is write these two data frames into one single excel files as two different sheets okay so you will in that case use this excel writer uh, class so in pandas data frame in pandas module you have this excel writer class where you can say with pd.excel writer whatever is the name of your excel file as writer and you use that writer to write your individual data frame so i am writing my uh, stocks data frame in sheet called stocks and my weather data frame in a sheet called weather okay and when i run this it works and i have this stocks underscore weather file created when i open this file you will notice that this file has two sheet stocks where you can see all the stocks information and weather where you can see all my weather information and if you look at your data frame here you can see you have your weather data 32 35 30 28 okay and 
if you look at your stocks you have your stocks data you can see all these values which is same as this particular data frame okay so that was all about reading and writing to excel files i didn't cover all the properties that reading and writing excel and csv files offers uh, if you google pandas documentation on let's say read csv or write csv you will find all these useful properties so for example for read csv you have so many other important properties that you can use for example you have separator and delimiter okay so now in my case i had a comma separated file where separator is comma but sometimes you might have pipe or some other character as a separator but uh, using read csv file you can handle those characters by using this uh, separator or delimiter uh, argument you have other uh, useful properties as well such as true values false values where you can say that if i have this particular value then consider it as a true or a false value you can also use skip footer for skipping your footers you can also use uh, skip blank lines so sometimes if you have blank line in your file you can just set this to be true and it will just ignore them next tutorial is going to be how do you handle missing data in uh, pandas so stay tuned and have fun learning pandas if you like this tutorial uh, please give it a thumbs up below and also share and comment on whatever feedback you have for me okay so that was all i had thank you for watching